Hello, my YouTube family. Yes, you did not see me yesterday. No, I was not sick. Uh, there was a lot going on. There was a lot going on. I came home. I had two major deliveries. One was my Wallbounds delivery. The other one was my Soap.com delivery. I did not know that they were going to come at the same day, almost at the same time, back to back. And by the time I had to put the shopping away and everything, you know. So here I am wearing the same makeup that I wore yesterday. Whether it's going, not going, I really, really just don't care. It's just been that kind of a day. It's been raining all day. It's been blah. And I have got cutie news. So let us get on with it, shall we? Uh, this is a dark plum grape whatever shade you want to call it. It is lined with MAC Velveta, one of my favorite cream liners. I love this liner. And filled is my Proenza Schuler. I think that's the name, Proenza Schuler from MAC. And this is in the color Primrose Luster. I don't know if y'all be able to see that. Primrose Luster. And this is Primrose Luster. And it is a luster. It is rather lustrous. Let's see? And I will do a swatch for you. As dark as it is here is as light as it comes out. It reminds me very, very much of Clinique's Black Honey. Like very much like this could be the dupe or black honey could be the dupe for this i you know here we go male and smooth and it is it's got a lustrous kind of shine to it as you could probably see and you know with it being a luster and kind of being so light yes you have got to reapply at least every 90 minutes to two hours Seriously, here we go, and we're off. You see how big he's become? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're looking at you. Yeah. Okay, so that is lips of the day. Sit down, I got cutie news. Well, we already know he's engaged, right? We already know this. But you would think that they would at least let the engagement last a little bit, don't you think? He's going on a cruise in New Year's. And on the cruise is where the wedding will take place. January 3rd, 2015. I got all this bit of info just today. Or was it yesterday? You see, I'm so I'm still in shock. So I think it was yesterday he told me. He he told me yesterday. Okay. So uh you know, he's already de he's definitely already been checked off the list, but he's like super duper checked off the list now. So yeah, um so he's going to be in the middle of doing school, still in school, and a married man. So come 2013, come 2013, when I see him again, I will see the wedding ring on his finger. You know, the wedding bands on a man's hand, especially if they've never been married before, it, 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 it jokes you a little bit, especially if you've known the person, the, known the man for a while, and then all of a sudden he's got a wedding band. Like, he is like off the market. Like, you can't think about him anymore. You can't daydream about him. You could daydream if you, it's not going to get you far. But it's, you know, off the market. Off the market. Not that I was pursuing him. See, I know it gets very confusing because I talk like I'm after him, but I'm, I'm not really after him. I'm not after him at all. But he was very fun to flirt with. I cannot do that anymore. 
Like now we just talk, we just talk like about what's going on CNN. We just talk about, you know, how was your day? How was school? I can't like stick in any kind of little, little things that'll, that he could walk away with and start thinking about, you know what I mean? So yeah, no more. I'm, I'm, you know, it really, it took a, it took a, it took a, it was like a punch to the gut when he told me, but you know, acting classes came in handy for me. Um, so I had to really do a serious, like the Academy Award <laughs> goes to Nancy. Yes, because I had to play it off like, really? Oh my, I was excited. I really was excited for him. But at the same time, it was like, oh, damn, couldn't you let it linger just a little bit? Just just let they engage, you know, people get engaged, they get engaged for like years before they finally know this is engaged last month, going to be married next month. <sighs> okay. That's the only man in my life. Okay. So that's, you know, I had to just fill you in. Let, let it, let it, let it wash over you. Let it just wash over you because from 2011, if you go back to my 2011 videos up until now, you will see my progression of, Ooh, he's kind of cute. And you know, I really think about him and blah, blah, blah. And then <laughs> up to now. Yeah. So cutie is no longer. Well, I mean, thankfully, he's still working there. But God only knows how long that'll be. I, I, I'm open to all surprises now. I'm open to all surprises now. And I knew this was going to be a bad week when I misplaced my phone. I haven't had my phone. Well, I had it yesterday. I think I did. I can't find my phone, people. I thought I left it at work. Went into work today. It's not there. Uh, when I came home last night, I couldn't find my phone. I don't know where my phone is. I, it's got to be in the house somewhere. I pray to Jesus because I can't find it anywhere. So I have to go downstairs to use my father's phone to dial my number to see if I can hear it ringing somewhere around here because I can't find it. And I'm very, 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 very naked without it. I, you know, so it's been that kind of a week. Two days, no videos. Cutie drops the bomb on me that he's getting married. January, my phone miraculously disappears. Still got my health. Thank you, Jesus. Still got a beating pulse. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still alive. Okay. So that's basically it in a nutshell, people. You know that actor Cumberbatch? I forgot what his first name is. Something Cumberbatch. He's engaged now. He was the voice of Smaug in um, The Hobbit. He's the voice of the dragon. He's rather sexy. He also played in a Star Trek movie. He was a bad dude. Um, that was the last one I saw. Yeah, they're all escaping from me, people. They are all escaping from me. Keanu Reeves is married. I keep telling everybody I'm the Mrs. Keanu Reeves, but if you keep talking like that, Nancy, somebody's going to get you a doctor. And one of them very special jackets that tie like this. So I better hush that up right quick. Um, so, yeah. Um... I just, I just need to just get on, just take each day as it comes. So that's it, people. That's all. This is lips of the day. I like the shade a lot. I do like the shade a lot. If I had worn white, maybe it would have been punched up a little bit more. However, I do have to tell you what blush I'm wearing because I'm wearing it from this, from the tart, from the tart. Yes. This was Pinup Girl. This is Tarte Pinup Girl. 
and the shade that I am wearing is, I don't want to blind you with the mirror, so it's upside down. So it is Embrace, and this one right here is Embrace, this one right here. It's kind of like a dark plum shade. I don't know if it'll, it's actually showing correctly. It looks like brown on the screen, but it's a plum shade, this one. This one right here. That is Embrace. That's what's on my cheeks. I love it so. I love it so. So, you know, I finally, finally broke it down, broke it. You know, it's no longer a virgin. Let me just put it that way. So, but it's very, it's very clunky. It's very, you know, I can't put it in my, um, where all my other blushes are because it'll just get ruined and then I'll ruin the pins and I don't want to do that. So I'm keeping it secure in the box and I'm just keeping it on the side, but it's very clunky. It's very big and bulky. I should have thought about that before I, I got all into the hype. So let me tell you people, I have been watching a lot of videos lately and, you know, watching a lot of people that I've followed through the years, and I think we are all on the same path of trying to reel it back as far as spending money and getting all caught up in the YouTube hype. And you know, whenever there's a product that everybody's talking about, we all have to go get it, kind of like this. Um, yeah, I am realizing that. I, I don't. I, honest to God, do not need anything more. I really don't. I may want a lot of things. Like, you should see my wish list on Amazon. Forget about it. It could fill up this room. But um, I'm trying to, again, you know, my credit cards and all of this situation. The only thing I, I used was buying his food and the scoop free refill and a couple of things for myself, meaning like milk and, you know, because soap.com has food. Like you could do your food shopping there. Some, some things they have. So I try to buy certain things like milk and sugar and all of that. So I bought that, but I am not, and I, and then my wall bounds came and that's when my huge food order came, but I am really not going to go nuts anymore. Like, oh, I like this kind of soap and I've got to try this soap and I've got to try this body wash and I got to, no. no. There were, I needed body lotion because my body cream is running out. There was one that was sold in, there, there, there's some body creams in soap.com, but they, sometimes soap.com could be a little pricey. So I went to the wall bounds, no name brand, a bottle of of lotion for your body about this big and maybe this thick a dollar I bought it no name brand just plain lotion just it's not suave it's not Nivea it's not just plain lotion and when it arrived yesterday and I was putting the stuff away I said oh lord here it is it's a big it's a big jug let me see what it smells like. It doesn't smell bad. It it's, it's like a nice creamy scent. It's got a beautiful, nice cream scent for a dollar. So I am I am whittling away the, the the excess. That's exactly what I'm doing. And I've noticed that a lot of people on YouTube, Mrs. The Doll, excuse me, Mrs. The Doll, you're one of them. Border Hammer's doing it. African Export is doing it. You know, a lot of people that I'm following. Over the years, we have we have gone, we have followed the madness. And now it's like, okay, you know what? Enough is enough. Enough is enough. So, like, for two days straight, I've been going nuts over bronzers on Google, Google Images. Like, because, let me, let me tell you the, the story of the whole, the whole bronzer kick. Elvis Duran, people in New York may know him because he's a radio DJ on Z100. 
he invites Bobby Brown like once a week or once a month to the radio station. And apparently she created a bronzer for him called, and it was a limited edition, limited edition Bobby Brown bronzer. And it's just called Elvis Duran. So I wanted to take a look at it. I was listening to them and she was talking about it. And I said, oh, I got to go on Google Images, just see what this looks like. And it's a gorgeous it's it's a bronzer with a hint. I'm talking about a whisper of pink in it. And it is absolutely to die for. So I'm looking at it, I'm looking at it, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, oh man, I would love to have this bronzer. I would really love to have this bronzer. I got a thousand and one bronzers in it. Nancy, all you have to do is just take a bronzer, take a pink blush, mix the two together, uh, voila, you got Elvis Duran. That's really all I have to do. So now I have, I'm going to start getting creative. I'm going to start getting creative with my stuff. Instead of going and buying stuff, I have got all the ingredients to get the shades of anything that I want. Today, yesterday was Elvis Duran bronzer. Today was rose gold. Like I'm back on the rose gold kick. Rose gold blushes, rose gold bronzers, rose uh, everything rose gold. Um, You have rose gold sleek blush. You have it. You don't need to get it. You got it. In the blush by, by three. It's not called rose gold. It's called something else. But it's definitely the rose gold blush. I can create with everything that I've got in there. If I want to get a rose gold lip gloss, I have Bobbi Brown's lip gloss shimmer in gold. Take a rose colored lip gloss. Put the gold on top. Mm -hmm. Instant rose gold. I need to stop. I need to stop. And I, I'm doing very well with, with specifically one of my um one of my um credit cards. It's it's really whittling down, the one that I'm using to order his stuff. And my and my wall balance. I'm not ordering anything else. I'm not going, oh, I got money left over to order some Amazon. I can get, no, no, not going to do it. So I'm really going to, I may not even buy myself a Christmas gift. I may buy some, definitely for pop, I'll buy. But I'm not going to go crazy for myself. If anything, I'll buy something for myself, like a, D, a DVD. I don't think I need a lip gloss. I don't think I need a blush. I don't need any more eyeliners. Don't need any more. I may, I may order a mascara. A DVD and a mascara. There, you're done. I don't need anything else. I, honest to God, do not need anything else. So that's just basically it in a, in a nutshell. I am, I'm, I, I think... I'm done spending or I want to keep whittling away at my credit cards until I feel comfortable enough to place another order or do another haul or whatever. But for now, you want, till the end of this year, you won't see a haul from me. I haven't stepped into a Rite Aid, a Dwayne Reed, a Walgreens, not for a while. Last month, I stepped into a Walgreens, got to get my toilet paper. Rounded that up. Didn't even go down the makeup aisle. I think I'm done. I really do. I think I'm done. I'm not done with makeup. Still love makeup. Oh, boy. <laughs> but spending, especially since you really don't have that much. I don't have that much loose, ca loose cash on me. So what are you going to buy? You have just enough to get you through your next paycheck. That is it. Gas. Things that you need. Gas. For your car, lunch, for work, that's basically it. And I could even make my own lunch, but I don't like making my own lunch. No, because if I'm going to make food, I'm going to eat it right away. I'm not going to make food and then wait a few hours, and then it just it loses its appeal, you know? And then by the time lunch comes, it's like, you want something fresh. You want something, like, made right there. So I have enough money for lunch. I have enough money for gas. That's it. That's all. I don't have play money anymore. I really don't. And it's not done on purpose. It's just that's how I'm budgeting it. Because again, like I tell you, when I get up, when I get paid, 
the big chunk of it mostly goes to a credit card because I just I want to get them off my back. I got two. I want to get them off my back. There's one that's go I'm going to be paying that one until my last breath. But um, this one, yeah, this one, this one is whittling down. So I'm very happy and thrilled about that. Other than that, people, that's it. I've I've rambled on far too long, and I've told you what what else there is to, to tell you. I hope I'm not disappointing anybody, and I don't lose anybody because I'm not you know buying anything new. I'm not jumping on any bandwagons. I'm not getting any new blushes or getting any new mascaras or new lipsticks or lip glosses. I'm just gonna be shopping my stash, and I can shop my stash for years. OK, and I'll, I'll, you know, I'll tell you that I've made a video on this before and blah, blah, this, that and the other. I still have three lipsticks brand new that I haven't shown you yet. So I can I'm still showing you new stuff, I'm still showing you new stuff. But after the third lipstick, bye bye, Charlie, I'm going to be shopping my stash, getting creative, doing some combos. So just look forward to that. I guess that's my um New Year's New Year's resolution to just shop my stash until I am financially secure and I can breathe a little bit and you know then I'll give myself, you know, maybe a little birthday gift. That's in July, okay? When I'm 51. Oh god, help me. Let's not discuss. Okay, that's all. That's all I wanted to tell you. I told you cutie news. And that's it. And see, it's already fading away. This is what it does. It already, And it leaves this black mark here, which I am not too thrilled about. I am not thrilled at all. It just fades into the darkness. There we go. So that's this lipstick. I love the packaging. Isn't it gorgeous? It's really pretty. There you go. Fluenza Schuler. So that's that with that upon that, people. That is it. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Okay, God willing. Jesus. I love you. Bye now. <laughs>